Now I've got a different transformer on and it's oscillating as you can see on the oscilloscope. Um, I put it on AC, I don't know if DC makes much of a difference. Not really. Um, it's saying 5.4 8 volts per division which makes that about 6 volts. Um, frequency is somewhere around 200 kilohertz. It's fluctuating obviously. And uh, underneath here is RA. Now what I want to show you now, 84 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to short the output of RA so you'll see this voltage drop but the waveform stays steady. Um, to be careful here. All fingers, thumbs and toes. Yes. Here we go. The voltage is gone. The waveform is stable. Voltage is back. Output is shorted. No voltage. And no effect on the waveform. So I am not loading the jewel thief. Now the other thing I'm going to try and do if I can is can I do so I'm looking to see if I can do amperage. I have no idea, I'll give it a try. Because I'm only showing it in milliamps. In uh, AC. Yeah, it's only AC. So, what I'm going to have to do is show you on a different meter. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to move the camera so there's the, ability, the um, likelihood that someone's going to uh, say, Ah, oh, you didn't show us the way for blah blah blah. Oh, might be in for a shock. Um, there he is. Right. Okay, here we go. I'll put the light on for you. Yeah, you can see that. 1.874 milliamps. Nearly 2 milliamps. And that I am very, very pleased with. And as the output is shorted to get the current reading, here is the scope. No effect on the output, on the input. You ready? There is wrong. This is a board. This board is covered in LEDs. And if I turn this light off, you can see the LEDs are showing. <coughs> and then on the other side, I've got a solar panel. One and a half volts. Ish. And the idea is that this could charge your batteries day in, day out, come rain or shine, off of dead cells, um, off of making 18, low 18650 unchargeable cells safe, and also from the earth. And that 
the, the waveform dropping is me pressing about the input to the ground. I do that then it won't short out. And I have looked everywhere on the net to see if I could find anyone. I mean anyone. There is not even a hint of anyone doing this. Which surprised me. It is such a simple um, a uh, junction between a dual thief and the outside world, if you like, for charging batteries. Now I know 2 milliamps isn't a great deal, but if I had um, say four of these in series, Using four GLC, that means I get more batteries done, uh, made safe. And uh, then I started to parallel them up. As you very well know, the current will increase. So um, that's the whole idea. And give you an idea of what it will look like. I'm using three three D printed um, spacers, ten mil, ten mil spacers between the uh, light LEDs uh, LED panel and the uh, solar panel, and as you can see, even. Four by three isn't going to make a lot of um, voltage or current, <coughs> but that there is almost um, five and a half volts, so six would give me eleven volts and. Um, Two, four, six, eight milliamps. So another three would give me sixteen milliamps. And as you know, I'm a, an advocate of a little is better than nothing at all. So anybody watching this video wants to say you can't do nothing with uh, that current, um, all I can say is, why don't you try it and see what you can make or work with the current and obviously if you had something the size of this mat, green mat which is one meter by half a meter you imagine a bank like that of these and they are making 8650s safe so they won't blow up or catch fire when they're disposed of and they'll even make these safe. My medic tells. When I find a tough one, that's how I'll be uh, discharging it to safety. And also, you don't need a 3D printer to make these uh, barriers. Because there's one made out of cardboard. And all that is is a cereal box, a um, small cardboard box, but a cereal box will work. Just glue it on there. Not a problem. Now, now that I've done the reveal, it doesn't mean this is the end of the project. Thank you very much for watching, people. Please subscribe, like, and share. I would be much obliged. Have a great day and please, please, all of you stay very safe.